You back. Wrong with you. Bow. Mmm. European cuts on all my clothes. Right up with two five four. Nintendo six four. We smoke in though, out though. We trend set us young boy on wobble. They send it through. What's up? Hey Eli here. Welcome back to Heavy Rain, man. We're gonna continue where we left off. We left off when we was somewhere in the middle of the street. So let's see what just happened. And then we walk up somewhere, I think. So let's see. Alright, this is where we walk left off. We saw the face. And then it was here. Oh, I was getting out the car. Oh. I'm somebody different now. Lauren Winter. Ring any bells? Nope. Can't say it does. Oh, that Lauren Winter. Third floor, last door on the left at the end of the corridor. All right. Lauren Winter. Sorry, I only see clients by appointment. Damn it. I gotta probably redo it. It's 50 bucks. I don't kiss and I don't do any weird shit. Fine by me. What the heck? Put your money on the table. You got exactly 10 minutes when the alarm rings. It's over, okay? Okay. You should take your clothes off. We ain't got all day. Actually, I'm not a customer. I should have known. What do you want? A freebie? Is that it? My name is Scott Shelby. I'm a private detective. The families of the victims of the origami killer asked me to investigate the murders. I came here just to ask you some questions about Johnny. I already told the police all I know and have nothing to add. Leave me alone. Oh! Uh, convince. Pre -assist. Are you deaf? I have nothing to say to you. Get out of here. Uh, no. There'll be other victims if we don't stop the killer. You have got to help me, Lauren. You may know something that can aid the investigation. Help you? There's nothing you can do. My son's dead, do you hear me? He's dead. Oh, this is the wife of Jason. I can't, I said beat it. Um, uh, no. I understand, Lord. I know what you're going through. Oh, yeah? You know what it feels like to find your own son's body on a wasteland? I'm sorry, I don't believe you have the slightest idea what I'm going through, Mr. Shelby. By trick? What? Let me see. If we don't find the killer, there'll be other mothers who find their son's body on a deserted wasteland. But, but, but you're right. Why should you care? It's not your problem anymore, right? That's who that is. It's the mother, Jason. What do you want to know? Uh, Johnny. Can I live with you? Of course, I made sure he never met any of my clients. I hope this is the mother, Jason. I want it to stop, you know. Because Johnny does not he sound right. the money. I was trying to earn enough to get us out of here. I don't think that was his, um... I don't think that's the mother, Jason, bruh. Is that it? No more questions? No, it is. Tell me about Johnny. What kind of kid was he? Johnny was really a good boy. Sometimes he fought with other kids who called me a, you know. In his okay. Own, I think he understood what was going on. This must be a different family, cause.
Yeah, never. No thanks, I quit. That's brave. Thought this was a mother of Jason, but it's not. Johnny's father. Did oh. you suspect anyone after he disappeared? I meet a lot of pretty shady characters in my line of work. Sure, I thought of it at first. But it didn't seem to make any sense. I don't believe any of my clients could have done that. All right. To my Johnny and all those other kids. His father, Johnny's Tell father. Me about Johnny's father. A loser without a job who liked to beat me after a few drinks. He left the day Johnny disappeared. I ain't seen him since. Coward. Good thing you left. Yeah, I don't think this is um Jason's mother. This is somebody okay, else. Mr. Shelby, I hope you got what you wanted. Because Jason's father's name is Shelby. Edward. <laughs> what the heck? Oh, Lord Jesus. R1. R1. Uh-oh, who's that? Lauren. Lauren, open up, baby. It's me. What are you doing I already told you, I don't want to see you anymore. Sorry, Dal, but I really wanted to see ya. No. Uh-uh. What do you want, asshole? Uh. Lauren, is everything all right? She's just swell. Now beat it, loser. No. Boy, what's wrong again? with you? You, you want these hands? Come on. I'm gonna beat the shit Come on. Oh, oh shoot. Uh. Oh. oh. I can't do that stuff, bro. That's the stuff too quick. I can do the letters. I mean, not the letters. The shapes. No. -uh. Oh, shoot. Get off me! R1! Get off me! X! Woo! Boy, wrong with you! Hold on! Hold on! Hold on! Miss! Uh! Oh, shoot! Down! Bow! Spine Buster! Uh uh! Uh uh! Ooh. X. I did not see that at first. Dang it. Oh shoot, bro. How long is this gonna be? I'm a detective. I was supposed to come help. You back. Wrong with you. Bow. Mmm. See you again, asshole. You got knocked out. You ain't fighting back. Are you all right? Yeah. Better than him, I guess. Who is he? An ex client who thinks he owns me. He was getting violent, and I told him I didn't want to see him anymore. Uh, you should be careful. He'll probably be back. Sorry about the mess. Mr. Shelby? Yeah. Thanks. You're welcome. All right, Tuesday, 8.05 a.m., 600 inches. All right, we got the police over here. Police, ambulance, news. Who is this? 
Switch it off, sir. Please step back. Agent Norman Jaden, FBI. You got a badge or something, Mr. Jaden? Yeah. Yeah, of course. Check. You can pass. I'm looking for Lieutenant Blake. Is he around? I saw him arrive earlier. He's here somewhere. Thanks. All right. Oh. Video memo recording. Agent 47023, Nam and Jaden. Tuesday, October 4th, 2011. Time is 8.14 a.m. Who the heck is supposed to be Blake? Lieutenant Blake? I'm Agent Nam and Jaden from the FBI. I went by your office this morning. They told me you'd be here. Now, if you're looking for rain, dead bodies, and highways, you come to the right place. Mike, will you tell that asshole with the bulldozer to stop for five minutes? I can't hear myself if they care. Right away, Lieutenant. All right. Well, are you coming, Jaden? Oh. So, what happened? Some guy taking his dog for a piss found a body about six o'clock this morning. We don't know much more right now. Based on what we've seen, looks like the work of the origami killer. All right. Uh... Do we know the cause of death? There are no marks on the body. Chances are he was drowned. Like the others. Any news on the coroner? He's on his way, Lieutenant. We've been waiting for an hour, for fuck's sake. God dang. Has the time of death been established? Based on the rigor mortis, must be less than six hours ago. We should know more once the coroner has had a look. Any witnesses? None yet. Given the neighborhood, I'd be surprised if anybody saw anything. All right. There are a lot of people on the crime scene. Aren't you afraid your men might destroy some clues? You don't find proof sitting behind a desk. We're not oh. going to trample on things in the ground, even if we're not in the FBI. No. His voice changed. No, of course not. That's that's not what I meant. Tony. I don't want to see a single shit stirring journalist within a mile of here. You got it? Yes, Lieutenant. God dang. Do you have any leads? My men are going over to scene with a fine tooth comb. If the killer left anything behind. We'll find it. The case seems to be attracting the attention of the media. Yeah, a greedy pack of vultures. These guys have killed their mothers for a scoop. Some investigation. We're coming a three ring circus. Listen, I, I'm a little busy here. Why don't we discuss all this a little later, back at the office? Well, no problem. I understand. Do you mind if I have a look around? Be my guest. Hey, Jade, you come and see me if you find anything, okay? We're on the same team now. Yep. Harry County, sample of no interest. It comes from one of the right. present on the wasteland. Alright, I found another clue. Some orchid pollen. The concentration of pollen in the air is quickly decreasing because of the rain, but it gets found higher in the direction of the body. It gets higher in the direction of the body. So he must be Harry over here somewhere. The pollen particles disappear in the tall grass. It's probably the end of the trail. Oh shoot, the train. Harry, come in. Traces of blood on the railroad track. The blood report indicates an advanced and long lasting state of exhaustion. Okay, come over here. A lot of foot tracks, I think. Harry, come in. Sample of no interest. Comes from one of the policemen present on the wasteland. I'm heading back to the office. Okay. Uh. No, I've seen enough. I'm leaving too. Okay then. The body is still here. 
The body is still here. Orchid power. Something the killer couldn't control. Can it be traced back to its source? Blood on the tracks. But where did it come from? The body is still here. The body is still here, bro. Harry comment. The victim is lying on his back. No visible signs of violence. Oh, there go the body. Found the body. A small origami figure in the right hand. Fingers were probably closed after the time of death. Wait, is this um, is this um, the what's the name, Rose Ethan? Declared missing five days ago. See reference file. An orchid was placed on the victim's chest. No, 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 I gotta go back in there. I missed one. I missed one. I missed one. I gotta go back in there. Superficial wound on the right thigh. Blood analysis suggests it could be post-mortem. All right. Probably a scratch that occurred when the body was being moved. Small wound on the right thigh. And the blood is the same. His face is covered with mud. Like the other victims. All right, we is inside the car. There we go. And we're leaving. I think I found everything. I hope I found everything. Tuesday, 1 o'clock p.m. 0 0.675 inches. Don't think, Ethan. Give me the first idea that pops into your head. Ethan. So his name was Ethan. I was right. Back. Okay. Uh, that is a. I don't know what that is. Oh, I see. It's a wolf. A wolf's head. Face, blade, or crab. Yeah, it looks like a crab. crab. Blood, death, or shadow? Uh, I don't really know. It looks like it's blood. I'm just pressed that. Blood the other one's too fading away. So Ethan wasn't dead. Here he is. I have the results of your MRI scans. Everything seems to be normal. There is no physical damage from the accident. All right. However, I am worried about your psychological condition. I know it's not easy, but you've got to start over, Ethan. You're not responsible for what happened. It's my fault Jason is dead. He'd still be alive if I'd been looking out for him. It was an accident. Accidents happen every day. You can't blame yourself forever for your son's death. How is Sean? I think he resents the fact that I can't live up to his expectations. I seem incapable of making his mother and him happy. And what about you, Ethan? What do you feel? Uh, I stopped living at the same time Jason did. And that car ran into us. Is there something else you wanted to tell me, Ethan? Yeah, I don't know what it was called. Have there been any cases of split personality developing after a concussion? Like people doing things but having no memory of what they've done. Like somebody else had been doing them. 
We know that in certain cases, a violent shock to the brain can cause serious psychological disturbances, like schizophrenia, for example. That's the end of this session. Uh, we'll continue this conversation next week. Hi! You were lucky, Ethan. It's very rare to survive such a traumatic accident. I don't exactly feel lucky, Doctor. All right, bruh. I'm gonna end it here, y'all. Give me a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe if you do to the goddamn channel. Leave me a goddamn comment. I like the video, and I'll see y'all in another goddamn video. Hey, Eli is out. I don't like got my poke, cock it back, let it blow That's your life, that's your soul, now you can tell it bye-bye Now you can tell it bye-bye